Alright, so in this video, I will show you how to set the best OBS settings for streaming in 2024. So if you find this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and even subscribe for more content like this. I hope these tips help as much as they did for me. Now let's get right into it. Begin by accessing the settings through the controls dock located in the bottom corner of the screen. Navigate to the stream section from the sidebar. If required, connect your account or input your stream key, then tick the box to disregard streaming service setting suggestions at the bottom. Click yes and then apply. Next, access the output settings from the sidebar and switch the output mode to advance. Move to the streaming tab and designate your stream audio track. I suggest utilizing track 1 for simplicity. If you're streaming to Twitch, consider activating the VOD track option, which allocates a separate audio track for your archive streams. This feature is commonly employed to prevent music from being saved in the VOD. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll enable this option and designate track 2, which is typically the default track. Choose FFmpeg AAC as the audio encoder. Select NVIDIA NVENC H264 as the video encoder if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an AMD graphics card, opt for AMD HWH264. If neither of these options is applicable, use X264. Ensure that rescale output remains unchecked. Navigate to the encoder settings sections, set rate control to CBR. Next, adjust the bitrate based on your upload speed. For upload speeds exceeding 12 megabytes per second, use 8000. For speeds between 10 and 12 megabytes per second, set it to 6000. For lower speeds, choose 4000. If you're streaming to YouTube and your upload speed surpasses 14 megabytes per second, aim for 10,000. Configure the keyframe interval to 2. For the preset, select P5 or P6 slower, particularly if you're streaming and gaming on the same PC. If you're solely streaming your camera feed or utilizing a dedicated streaming PC, opt for P6 slower or P7 slowest. In case you're operating on a low-end PC, medium may be necessary. Set the tuning to high quality. Select two passes, quarter resolution, for the multi-pass mode. If you're using a streaming PC, you can opt for full resolution. Configure the profile to high, then deselect look ahead and select psycho visual tuning. Set GPU to zero and max B frames to two. Apply these settings and proceed to the audio options in the sidebar. Set the sample rate to 48 kilohertz and channel to stereo. Choose the first desktop audio dropdown and add your primary listening device or the default audio output device, typically a headset used for computer audio playback. If you utilize two different audio devices, select the appropriate one using the desktop audio 2 menu. This could be a chat output on your headset. Set mic auxiliary audio to your microphone, then apply the changes. Navigate to the video options. For the base canvas, select either your screen's native resolutions or 1920 by 1080. To determine your screen's resolution, access the display settings from the start menu. Choose the monitor you'll use for streaming and locate the display resolution settings to view the resolution. Set the output, scaled the resolution, to 1920 or 1080. If the output resolution is lower than the base resolution, you'll have the option to set the downscale filter to lag exhaust for optimal quality. Ensure that the FPS is set to common FPS value, typically 60. However, if your bitrate is set to 4000, consider using 30 FPS for better image quality. Apply these settings and proceed to set up hotkeys. Search for streaming in the filter bar. Then select the Start Streaming box and assign a keyboard shortcut to begin streaming. You can use the same hotkey for the Stop Streaming option to toggle streaming on and off. Additionally, you can set hotkeys to switch to specific scenes in OBS while streaming. Next, go to Advanced Options and set the process priority to Normal. For the video options, default settings are generally sufficient, but you can adjust them as needed. And check the box for stream delay options to disable it, providing the best chat experience. Apply these settings changes and click OK. In the audio mixer dock, click the three dots icon to access options. Select advanced audio properties and enable each audio device on your streaming tracks, typically track 1, unless previously modified. If you've enabled a VOD track, ensure to enable the audio devices you want to hear in your VOD. Any unchecked device won't be heard in your saved stream. Close the settings and you're all set with the best OBS settings for streaming.